In this video today, I will just illustrate a C program that I wrote to emulate routers and routing. And this is just a basic program that I wrote for my children to learn how to type IP addresses and test connectivity. So I, you know, got encouraged with the idea and wrote this program. And so I'm gonna kind of illustrate that. And if you want this program for your children, I would be happy to share this with you. Just drop a note in the comment. So here's the router emulation program that I wrote. And as soon as you start it, it runs on Windows. Uh, as soon as you start it, it comes up with a banner and uh, it gives you some basic instructions that all interface must be configured with IP addresses. Only same interfaces in interface numbers can be connected to each other. Basically, E0 connects to router 0 is here. And it's E0 can only, is only connected to the E0 of router 1. Uh, and so on and so forth. And the subnets must, 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 must match basically that if you do not configure the right subnet on the opposite sides, it's not gonna work. So the subnets that are supported in this simulation program is 8, 16, and 24, just for testing and learning purposes. And obviously use the command question mark to see the options. So I'm gonna try to give you a brief demo of this. If you do a question mark, you will see all the options. Here you can see all the interfaces for all the routers. And with this C command, you can connect to a console. So if I do console zero, if I wanna to connect to router zero, I do C zero, I'm in router zero. If I do question mark here, it's gonna give me all the options here, which let's see. I do I show interfaces. All the interfaces are not configured yet. So if I go back and if I do a read option, read config, that will read config and set up the network as in the banner. So B for banner, but if you go do read, you can say file read. <clears throat> and then if you go to console zero router zero and do I, files are read according to the banner, according to the topology, pre-configured topology. Router one has two interfaces, 100, 111, and 1111 with peering with R1 on Ethernet zero. So now if I ping, for ping, the command is P, I do ping my own address, <clears throat> it'll give me all the exclamation mark like Cisco. If I ping some random address, it's gonna give me dots. So if I am pinging the router one, which is I'm directly connected to, so I should be able to ping 1112, I would type 1112, and there it is. Now, <clears throat> let's, let me show you how I can advertise this network to R1. So if I go to R0 routing table, I have two connected networks, but I want to advertise this network here, which it's connected to. So I'm going to do R0 is connected to E1 and E0. 101 is some network connected to. In this case, I have 10, but I can set that to 100. So for example, let me set E1 to 100. And the command to do that is right here. So I'm gonna do set E1 to 100. 24 and these are all debug messages so you can ignore them I check my interfaces now it was 10 one now it's 100 one so 
So I want to advertise 100, 1, 1, 1, 2, router 1. So let me go first check router 1, routing table, there's nothing in there. Okay. But I can ping router 0. So I go to router 0. And I have, and I want to advertise this guy. So I'm going to type advertise 100. Debug messages, don't worry about it. Let's go to router one, check the routing table. There you go. So now I should be able to ping, and it also gives you, you know, the next top uh, advertisement advertising router is R0. It gives you all the legend just to, you know, have kids learn how, how to read routing table, what's the next top and stuff like that. So if I ping 100, I can ping. Now if I want to advertise the same route or reach this route to router two, if you look at the banner, router router zero advertise 100, 111, 211 is if they're able to reach this guy. Now if I want to advertise the same route to router two, the routing table doesn't have it, so I'm going to have to go to router one and advertise this route, go to router two, and there it is. And look at the next top, it says now it's advertised by router one instead of router zero. So, you know, it kind of gives routing is a complex uh, concept you know, or skill set, yeah, but this is something that I develop for my children to kind of get their hands on and understand what's what's routing is all about a basic stuff uh you know typing ip addresses and uh let's let's see if router two can reach it yes it can you can try again try to re type uh, some random address it's not gonna work it's a it's a nice tool or you know playing tool for encouraging your children to learn networking again if you're interested in this uh Emulation software, it's free. I can send it to you uh, if you drop a note. Hope this helps.